Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here with Lauren Harding, who um, works at Bailey Chase, and they will have a booth at the Senior Summit on May 19th. So welcome, and tell us about Bailey Chase. What services do they provide, and you know, what do you actually do? We are a continuum of care retirement community, also known as a life plan community. Mm -hmm. We are located in East of Maryland. We are 34 acres between Ida Wild and Dutchman's Lane. We have independent living apartments, cottages, and villas. Cottages and villas range between 1,000 to 3,000 square feet. Uh -huh. We also have a short-term rehab on our campus and a skilled nursing long-term care building. We have an assisted living with a memory support neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And inside of our assisted living, we have an outpatient dementia memory clinic. And inside that memory clinic is Dr. Alan Anderson mm -hmm. and his nurse practitioner. And we also have therapists that do ca caregiver counseling for the patients and our residents' families. We have a neurocognitive outpatient rehab program that's built under Medicare Part B. Now, what does neurocognitive, what do they work on? They work with people with memory issues, dementia, Alzheimer's, strokes, Parkinson's. So they're, the therapists are specially trained on how to redirect and work with these individuals in a quiet, one-on-one -on -one setting. And that's outpatient? Correct, outpatient. So if someone has a stroke, they could possibly go to Bailey Chase and have like some type of therapy to help assist getting them back where they mm -hmm. you know, used to be, or yeah. close mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, you have to help with the cognitive um, speech and as well as movement. Um, we also do outpatient therapy um, under Medicare Part B for all different diagnoses. We have the clinic where you can be assessed for any memory issues and be managed by Dr. Anderson. We have our assisted living building. You can come for a respite stay or become a permanent resident of our now, community. If someone doesn't understand, respite stay means that they come in for a week or two weeks? A, or? a week to 30 days. It's a short stay. Maybe their caregiver has to go out of town or needs right. to have surgery or they just need some place to go while they recover right. from an illness. And then of course we have our, like I mentioned, our short-term rehab where you can go if you've had a three-night hospital stay under Medicare Part A. Right. And we, you can get all our therapy services over there, PT, speech, OT, also skilled nursing services. Now your cottages, are they independent homes? They're independent living, mm-hmm, they're homes, and we also have our home and community-based services, so we can get companion and other nursing services in the home if you needed a little bit of extra assistance. Now, if, if they're in a home, can they come over maybe and share a meal with others? Is that available, or do they have to do their own type of... In the independent living? Sure. It's kind of like resort-style living, so if you're independent living and you wanted to go to our main dining room to eat, you could, or you could go to our lounge area, or you could eat with a friend over in our assisted living building, or in our short-term rehab area. So it's you can eat wherever you would like, um, even individuals because sometimes they want some social interaction yeah. or something yeah. or they might make a friend or yeah right. or, or as people move along the continuum their friends are moving so you may still be in one area but want to visit with another friend and same with assisted living or the long-term care area they can come and have um, cocktail hour and meals with their friends independent living areas okay so it's lots activity of wise we, ha we have a lot of activities. There's always something going on. The residents have lots of different committees and they're involved in planning those activities as well as our recreation and engagement directors. We have programming for individuals who have memory challenges. We have programming for the independent living residents as well as over in our long-term care area. So we really meet the individual where they are and the groups where they are. They have outings, they have music, a, a lot of musical activities. Um, they have programs 
and they have lots of games, bridge, lots of card games. Um, there's um, are there things for movement? Lots and lots of programs for that. We have a wellness director full time who plans those programs every day. I know someone that comes into a facility mm -hmm. and does like she calls it Zumba Gold. Yeah, Zumba because, Gold chair yoga. Yeah. 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 So we have Zumba and, and yoga. So tell us what you're going to have out at the summer. Summit is May 19th out here at the 4-H Park mm -hmm. outside of Centerville. So We're going to have a door prize okay. and some other giveaways that will be a surprise. They'll have to come and see us. So, um, but definitely stop by. We'll have a lot of information about our programs because we do a lot of caregiver support programs as well as educational programs um, with Dr. Anderson being able to speak on behalf of topics, um, we're able to have a lot of educational programs. So, so we work with the greater community as well as our residents and families in our community. So, so if someone wants to get in touch with you, I know at your booth you'll have it, but how? what's the best way? Online, telephone number? Well, you can go online, baileychase.org, or you can call our main number, which is 410-822-8888. 410-822-8888 and they can ask for whatever services they're looking for and they can be directed to the right person. And if someone wants to come down and just look at the facility and see what's going on, it would be best to call and set up an appointment. Sure, yeah, since we have lots of different op options, right. then if they call the main number, then that individual and answers can direct them to the right person, and then we'd be happy to have anybody come in tour, spend the day, have a meal, just enjoy the experience. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, we thank you for coming in. Thank Anything you. else you want to add that you, you know, we might not have touched on? Sure. Um, May 17th at 1130 a.m., we are having a memory cafe. The third Wednesday of every month, we have a memory cafe. Okay. And the focus is on the individual with early stage memory loss, mm -hmm. who may not be ready for a support group yet, but they still need a safe environment to stay engaged, stay communicating, stay with others who are experiencing the same challenges. The caregiver can come with them. We share a light meal. We have a topic, a speaker, maybe a, an activity to do. Mm -hmm. um, and we just really make it our own and try to keep that support and that engagement for the individual. Right. So it's May 17th at 11.30. Okay. All right. Well, thank we you. thank you for coming in. Thank you. Good seeing you. And hopefully people will stop by your table and get the information and, you know, get yeah. some questions answered. Yep. I look forward to meeting everybody.